Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and today is now time for our part 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! 7s and Rush Duel. I have bought a tremendous amount of packs and I have built this little deck up. So let's take a look at it first before we do anything else. So Multi-Strike Dragon is our big thing. He has 2500 attack and his requirement is to send the top card of the deck to the graveyard, which is almost no cost. And this turn, if this card destroys the monster by battle, it can make a second attack during the battle phase. Of course, playing him at three, we're playing three of Shining Superstar, which seven star requires two tributes, 2200 attack, and if you pay a thousand life points, then all monsters on your field gain attack equal to the number of face-up monsters on your opponent's field, multiplied by 300 this turn. If the opponent has three monsters in the field, all your cards gain 900 attack. Now, I personally think this seems better than Seven's Magician, and I didn't really have the space for it. Also, we only pulled two of Seven's Magician, so that is also <laughs> a bit of a problem. Uh, let me just go to sort by rarity. And there he is, we only pulled two of them, the Seven's Road Magician. So if we pulled three of them, maybe I'd have been more inclined. We only pulled two of this as well, but it's really good. It is four star, meaning requires no tribute, and send one level five or higher monster from your hand to the graveyard. We are playing seven of them. Change attack position non activate monsters on your opponent's field to face up defense position equal to the number of face up aqua monsters on your side of the field. So, because of this, she's an aqua monster herself, but we are also playing three water magician who only has 1400 attack, and three Laboon the party princess who only has 1200 attack, but both of those are aqua as well, because there doesn't seem to be that many things that increase your attack or lower the opponent's attack, so it's very important to have outs to your opponent's cards. Uh, we are playing three curry bot when I was looking at this yesterday. I, I didn't think this card looked that fantastic, but then when you think about the way that Rush Duel mechanic works. So long as you've got, if you have a hand of one curry bot and four of these things that require tributes, then you can just pay 500 life points to get another curry bot back from your drop zone, call it, tribute both, and then summon your big seven star thing without having to rely on having more monsters. So that's why the curry bots are very, very important. Thunder to Thunder is also really good. Send any card from your hand to the graveyard, just send one of them. Then one face-up monster in your opponent's field loses 300 attack until the end of the turn. So if everyone all has monsters with 2500 attack in the field, making one of your opponent's monsters lose, two, lose 300 is the equivalent of killing one of their cards. So that is really, really strong. We're playing three Fire Golem, which is pay 600 life points to the effect is one face-up monster in your opponent's field loses 600 defense until the end of the turn. I'm not sure how good this guy is going to be. He's useful with this because it means that he himself can maybe get over, you know, a monster that's, you know, like a, a multi-strike dragon or such. Because, well, yeah, he would. They would put them down to 900 defense. So it means that you're not wasting an attack with your 2500 attack. It means you can do more attacks to your opponent directly. Our one legend card we're playing is Summon Skull because he is literally Dark Magician, except he only requires one tribute instead of two tributes. The only reason to play Dark Magician is if you're playing Dark Magician Girl, but then if you're playing Dark Magician Girls, you have to rely on drawing the Dark Magician early so that your Dark Magician Girl is 2500 and not just 2000. So I didn't like that idea of having to rely on luck. If we were playing Seven Road Magician, then we can also use our this one, the Seven Road Witch, which is send a card from your hand to the graveyard to special summon a level seven or higher dark attribute spellcast monster from your hand. So that summons out both Dark Magician and your Seven Road Magicians. So that would maybe be a better card in that build. But in this build, where we're just going with the best cards we currently have access to, I'm going with Summon Skull. We are then playing any three four-star 1500 attack vanillas and any three four-star attack 1500 attack vanillas and then of course we're playing our six aqua cards. We would be playing this at three if we had three of it, absolutely, but because we only have two we're just going to have to work with what we've got at the moment. As you can see we're not using any skill. The skill that I would use if I had access to it, I will show you, is... 
when I find it. Oh my goodness. Um, Legend Draw, this one. So Legend Draw is can be activated before your normal draw from turn 4 onwards. If your opponent has a face up, level 7 or higher monster and you have no monsters in your field, then once per duel, effect one of the cards from your normal draw will be your legend monster, which would be Summon Skull. So if you can guarantee a 2500 attack monster in your hand, when 2500 attack is the highest thing your opponent can have on the field, then that is absolutely tremendous. That is a really, really strong ability. And it also allows you to make a comeback, because if your opponent has a monster 2500 attack in the field, such as this, and you have no way of lowering its attack, you can just summon Summon Skull and just attack into it. You'll lose your Summon Skull, but you'll also get rid of the opponent's massive threat as well. So that is my idea. We haven't played any games of Rush Duel at all yet, so we are just going to try our very, very first game here. We need to win four duels in sevens, and we need to summon six monsters in one duel. So let's go ahead and do that. We try, obviously. And this looks like a new character, so let's see him. This is Yoshi Imumi, fourth grader at Goha, number seven elementary school. Let's see, do we have any other new characters? In fact, should we try taking on the Vagabond? Let's try it, shall we? Because this will be worth a lot of uh, points and level us up, if we can, if we can do it. So our very first game is going to be against the Vagabond. I forgot we both started on 6,000 life points. And we're going second. I've already set up my playmat and my sleeves as well. My sleeves are summoned skull. Okay, so we've got a flame champion to deal with. Dark Sorcerer. And another Dark Sorcerer, okay. Oh, now that Tour of the Wind Weaver is limited to three, so I think that is quite strong, so let's see what this does. Send one card from your hand to the graveyard, change one battle position of one monster in your opponent's field. And that's all it does, but it's one tribute. Okay, so what do we have? Hmm. So we want to get this out. This we don't care about, this we don't care about. This we're not going to use the effect of. And this one we don't care about. So we need to tribute two of these. So we'll tribute the two smaller ones. So that's 1200 and 1300. And we'll keep it... Well, actually we've got multiple 1200s. Right, so we're going to get rid of the two 1200s. So let's go... Normal Summon. We're choosing not to activate the effect. Normal Summon. Then we shall tribute both of these. Then we will normal summon. And normal summon once again. And now we shall use the effect to pay a thousand life points. And everyone gains 900 attack, which is massive. And we're just going to declare some attacks. And that is us there. And the opponent gets to draw five cards. I'm going to use that to shovel three cards in and then draw a card. Okay, so Fire Golem, which lowers the defense by paying 600 life points. Celtic Guardian, which has 1400 attack. Tributing both of those for Dark Magician. So that's going to be a bit of a problem. 2500 attack. So we have five cards that we need to draw here. And do we have an out? This will allow her to get 300 attack, so she'll go up to 2500. Let's see, we have 1200, 15, 1200, and 15. So we're going to normal summon, and then we're going to tribute our two weakest ones for this. And 
Thunder Fury. Can I have used Thunder Thunder? Oh, I should have. Oh my goodness, that, that was a blunder on my part. So then, what is our next highest attack? 1500. So let's go with that. And now these two are going to just collide with one another. And then we're going to try attacking for 1800 twice and see if that is enough to win. It is indeed. And there we go, that is our very, very first game of Rush Duel. We've got 1400 points. Just going to level us up a little bit. Halfway through to level 3. And we already had that ability. We've now got ourselves a 6 star 2000 attack. What else can we get here? Oh, this is Legend Draw. Okay, so this is what we want to get. I didn't realise that's how you got it. I feel like a lot of the spells and things aren't that fantastic. I've seen some people using this. So, since what card your deck to the graveyard? One spellcaster gains 200 attack this turn. Hmm. Can you do that multiple times? If you can do it multiple times, it's good, but if not, it's not very. And that's it. Level 20 is our maximum. So we've got quick victory. And of course, we drew five cards. And I think we did. I think we did summon more than six cards. Yeah, let's take a quick look at the opponent's deck. Okay, so. It was a little bit crazy. I think there's a lot of people here that aren't exactly sure what they're doing, which is completely fine. So now we just need to win any three games of Rush Duels, and we'll complete this mission. In fact, actually, let's, let's play against one of the new players, this one. And let's Rush Duel against him. So he's level one, so I assume that he should be Fairly easy, I would imagine. Here we go. Get ready for the rush. Okay, we've got a fairly good hand here. So this is our tribute for her. And we're going to keep the two Thunder the Thunders as well. And no reason not to. For all of our cards to gain 900 points. Because that means that the opponent is taking an additional 918 2700. Where we've only taken 1000. So let's declare some big attacks. Not quite enough to win just yet, but certainly close. Okay, I see the opponent is using Oh, we've got multi, multi attack dragon. So let's go for him then. Well, before we do anything else, let's remember what we're doing. So we'll do that and we'll lower the attack of this one. We're just going to try and win this turn. So we can only use their effect once. Okay, we've learned that. Here's our big card. And if I want to, he can attack twice. And <laughs> he blew his hat off as well.
Brings up past level five. I would recommend about a seven. I mean, the game is called Sevens after all. Probably have something up here. Did we accomplish something? Oh, we got Yuga to level five. And that gives us his special sleeves. There they are. Once we get him to level 12, we'll get his playmat as well. I think they've got unique... Unique anima... No, they're not animations. Unique dialogues, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we're going second. I think I prefer going second, going first in Rush Duel. Okay, so now we've got an option here because we've got two tribute monsters in our hand. And there's a Nibatori Mai. <laughs> oh, I remember his um, Joey saying, Go drumsticks! <laughs> and uh, my Valentine saying, uh, I think Joey's lost or something like that. <laughs> and Joey says, It's a Nibatori Mai. <laughs> So we can only bring out one tribute summon here. So I think we're going to go for our big monster. Do we have to activate this? We do. So we discard the top card of our deck and then he can attack twice. So we need to remember to do that. I have to hope the opponent doesn't get over 2500. Okay, Sparks. It's a trick Pigeon. And a Blasting Bird. And a Harpy Girl. So now let's draw three cards, of course. I think the best way to do this. So we don't need to change anything to defense position. So let's summon this. Okay, we'll normal summon you over here. I'm going to use your skill so you get double attack. We're going to pay a thousand life points so that they're all massive. And then we're just going to try and win right now. And there we go. And that's how you play Rush Duels. And we've got our Legend skill as well, which is perfect. So let's go equip that. That is perfect. That is the exact skill that we wanted. Yeah, I'm happy with it just now. In fact, actually, we've got multiple decks, don't we? Let's try making Seven's Magician. Okay, so what should we include? So, Dark Magician will go into this deck. I don't know how many Dark Magician girls are going in, but let's put her in for just now. Of course, there needs to be three curry pots, because they are incredibly useful. I really like to put in a third Seven's Road Magician if I could, but unfortunately I can't. Now we need to put in... Yes, yeah, Seven Rose Witch. So 
So we already have a lot of tribute monsters in there, which is quite worrying. So we're at nine. So ideally we don't want any more. First of all, let's filter and look for just spellcasters. Because those are going to be quite important in this deck. I really like to use these as well, but those Dark Magician Girls, oh, I think the Dark Magician Girls might need to come out, which sucks. This is really good Mystic. And of course we want to play the three Dark Sorcerers. Now with seven Road Magician we want to play as many different types as possible. Fire Golem is good because he's fire and he is a spellcaster. These little guys are good because they are wind and you need as many different types for Seven Road Magician as well because he gains attack equal to the number of different attributes in your graveyard. So there's a lot of dark obviously. We have three fire, we have three water, more dark, wind, Wait, sorry, this is not what I meant. Earth would also be good. If this was anything other than just level 6, it would be acceptable. So the strange cats are earth. This is also earth. I feel like this deck isn't going to be quite as strong, unfortunately. Let me think here. What else would be usable? We can't because it's too high level. She's good for switching cards to defense position, of course. If your opponent has a Dark Magician in the graveyard, you know, then Dark Magician Girl becomes a 3000 attacker, but it's really unlikely. I've got a really bad feeling that the Dark Magician Girls are going to have to come out of the deck, unfortunately. These things are really strong. And they're also Wind, and they're also Spellcaster. Unfortunately, the Dark Magician Girls have to come out of the deck. Oh, I only have one of you. <laughs> I assumed I had lots. How do you obtain you? Oh, you're in the starter deck. That's why I only have one of you. Hmm. Could do that, but it's really, really stupid. Because we're now playing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten of our 30 card decks require tributes. And if we open up a, a hand of five cards that all require tributes, I think we just immediately lose. Because I don't think you can draw cards while you've got five cards in hand. If you can't summon anything, then you can't get rid of any of them. So that's a really terrible idea. So we're not going to do that <laughs> in retrospect. So these are really good. Hmm. Dark Magician Girls less so. I 
Oh, that's tough. I think the Revolution Girls have to come out regardless. Because this is still... This is still seven cards that require tributes. We really want as few tributes as possible. So let's do that and sort by attack. So of course we're playing four Dark Sorcerer already. What else can we use? Okay, we want as many different types as possible. So we've got two water, five water. We only have three earth. We only have three wind. We've got four wind. We only have three fire. And we have lots of dark. We don't have any light monsters. And you're light. No, you're earth. You guys are light monsters. Oh my goodness, I almost forgot Thunder of the Thunders. Those things are very, very required for winning games. So let's put on Legend Draw again, because I think it's probably one of the better cards. And we will call this... No, no, not seven's question mark. We're gonna call it Seven's Magician. And let's change our accessories. And the game mat is still gonna be this because that is the only Seven's game mat that we have. And there we go. We have made a brand new deck. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video when we're going to try out this little deck. We're going to see how it works and see if we can unlock a new character as well. So we've tried out some rush duels. We've got to play some and we've built two decks so far. So overall, not a bad start to rush duels. But that is going to be it for this little video, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, please give me a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these little videos go out. And we shall see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.